Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. In today's video, the Mighty Chums Wallet returns. It's been a while since I've made a video on this thing, and now that I've gotten some more different gear on hand, it's time to see what all this wallet can do. I do call it a wallet because that is technically its intended function. You can put cards in your little bit of money, ID cards, etc, etc. But I find this handier as an EDC gear organizer. And for 10 bucks from Walmart, it's pretty good at what it does. And it holds more than you think and not as much as you think. It, there's some ways that it's better, some ways that it's not as good as maybe some other specialty EDC pouches. So let's get into what I have in here already. Starting off the video, we have a one sleeve of the Leatherman Bit Kit. Slips right into the credit card slot there for easy access. If you're doing a lot of tinkering on computers and stuff and it, you like to have those Torx bits or something or knife maintenance, it's good to have a sleeve of those suckers. There's, I know the metal can be soft, but it's strong enough to do most jobs. I haven't had one of these break on me yet, and I've really cranked on some of them. I do speak from experience when I talk about this gear. I try to give you guys an accurate review of what's going on, and I do say, while these are overpriced by Leatherman, and I do shame Leatherman for charging as much as they do, these are good bit kits. If you get some, if you want to get some, get some. I do think they're good to get. So, that said, move on to the next part. Wrong side, there are two zippers as you can see. And it does kind of have double-sided function if you do cards. But if you're doing gear, you're probably only going to be use be using a one side. Because once you put anything in of any thickness at all, um, you basically lose the function of the other zipper. Unless it's maybe a credit card or some emergency cash. So, we open this up. We have the Leatherman bit extender, ratcheting bit extender. Very good. And having the, it's nice to have this because that kind of acts just on its own as a screwdriver for that. And it does give you enough torque to work with this stuff. You can also buy mods for like the Style Series multi-tools to give you a little bit more leverage. You can also buy the SOG Power Pint with its quarter inch driver adapter, works wonderfully. You can also do the Victorinox bit driver hack. Do that, if it has pliers that is. Only works on the plier controller there. So, bit kit, ratcheting bit driver. That's what we have in here so far. Scooch this stuff off to the side a little bit. Coming out next, we have the Olite i3T EOS, the AAA battery flashlight from Olite, and a Leatherman Juice XE6. Now, I know this does not necessarily go with the bit driver, but that's just showing you how big something can be and still go in the wallet and pack a handful of stuff with it all nice and neatly. So with that out of the way, let's just mess around and pack some stuff together. Follow me as I pack some of this stuff up. Maybe I'll throw some stuff together that'll spark an interest in this. If you've been considering getting one of these, I do recommend getting some. There for the longest time, before I got some, got my Leatherman Free Series multi-tool and stuff that's uh, modded with the quarter inch bit driver. Before I got that, I was EDCing this Chums pouch a lot. And what I would do is I would take the SOG Power Pint. That goes down in there quite nicely. The bit driver to go with it. And either whatever mood I was filling up for that day, the Olight i3T or the Maglite Solitaire. Handy little AAA flashlight. Nice and bright. Not as bright as an Olight, but it's reliable. I'd usually pack all that together, zip the sucker up, throw in a bit sleeve, and I'd have in my front jeans pocket a fairly, you know, diverse EDC kit, one and done, that could get me through most of my day. 
with no trouble. Wrong side. You think as much as I use this, I would remember the pouches, but I just, I'm just dyslexic or something. I keep mixing it up. But the Sog Power Pint fits in there. Of course, this fits in. The smaller stuff that you fit in, like the style, I have the style CS here with the scissors. The smaller the stuff that you put in, the more stuff you can fit in. Like you can put that in, a little SD sized Swiss Army knife, a pair of nail trimmers, tweezers, ferro rod, um, flashlight. Let's put the little bit bigger one in. There you go. Pair of snips, grooming scissors, whatever you want to call that. You know, you've got a decent little manicure set right there. It will take a 91 millimeter Swiss Army knife, lays down nice and flat inside. An Olight i5R EOS goes down in there, no trouble at all. We can throw in a Boker Atlas Multi down in there. It's starting to get a little packed, but I mean, that does go in there and zips up. You can pack all three of those things in there. A little redundant with that. Let's throw in the bit driver. Throw in a bit sleeve. And of course you could throw in a normal quarter inch bit sleeve of your choice in there. I do think that would work. I just personally prefer the Leatherman one. But that all fits in there. And I, my suggested packing for this guy is to take your wallet. I like to have bit sleeve and bit driver. Some form of driving the driver if you need more leverage and a flashlight. I That's my suggested packing of this. But hey, you know, if you want to throw in band-aids and manicuring sets or, you know, bushcraft survival ferrule rods, that's your pocket. Do with it what you will. But, you know, you can pack uh, one juice, two juice. Can we pack two juices in here? Get rid of that little lanyard. Yes, we can. This holds two Leatherman juices. That's pretty impressive when you think about it. But you've seen some of the stuff already that it, it can hold. And I like to have a knife or some form of multi-tool and a bit kit on me at all times. Because I'm always tinkering. I'm always putting stuff together or taking something apart. And it's just nice to have a little something going on in your pockets that can do a handful of things. And yes, the Leatherman bit sleeve does go down inside the wallet nicely. It does do that. So, you know, you can throw the bits and that in together there. You can take swap this out, throw in the power pint, and you've got yourself a good EDC bit kit. And I do, th you know, Zach in the Wild, fantastic dude. Go watch his videos. He's a great guy, has made some banger content lately. He recently dropped a video on EDC pocket organizers. Stuff that can take some of these various knives and multi-tools. And his stuff showed that you can hold a full-size knife. This stuff, you really, you know, it's not long enough to hold a full-size knife, per se. I mean, it goes in, but it sticks over. Aesthetically, it doesn't fit. You know, this is for the three-inch, three-and-a-half-inch, four-inch, and shorter stuff, like so. Um... The Knipix 5 inchers do not go in there. I don't have the 4 inch on hand to see if it sits down inside, but I mean, you can just take that, put that in there. That fits wonderfully. And this is just the $10 basic Chums wallet. You can go to Walmart and buy Academy Sports and buy probably some Lowe's and Harbor Freight, um, Home Depot's also. Not Harbor Freight. I've yet to see one at a Harbor Freight. But. You know, you can, you can put 
some decent sized gear together. Yes, it sticks over, but you can throw stuff together in this wallet of various sizes. And this is usually the stuff that I've noticed in my ADC that without a pocket organizer is just jangling loose inside your pocket and it's not fun. It's not easy to carry. This makes it easy and somewhat fun to carry if you enjoy the gear that you carry. And I personally enjoy this personal setup here where you've got a flashlight, a small multi-tool that's stronger than your fingers and hand for a lot of stuff, a basic bit kit, and let's see if I can find a quarter inch bit series here. Like we'll just take this little sleeve of quarter inchers, drop it down in there, Leatherman bit kit, bit driver, and you know, you've got this whole set here that can already get most people through their day. And as Zach said, you know, carry what you need, need what you carry. I'll admit, I don't usually need all this stuff, okay? I'm not going to use a large uh, Allen set or Torx set like this, but I like to be prepared. And if you're, if I know I'm going somewhere fancy, I, I mean, you've, you've seen, if you've seen my previous content, you know, I carry a bunch of gear on hand, on my person every day, all day long. And I love carrying it that way. I, I wouldn't really have it any other way. But if I've got to go to an event where I need to, where, you know, it's like a wedding. Let's say I got to go to a wedding, which I have never gone to a wedding in my whole life, but let's just use it as, as an example. I want to have some stuff nearby to tinker on some stuff if something goes wrong. And so having something like this, or swap that out for this, because this does also uh, drive the quarter inch, the Leatherman bit driver there. I've got something discreetly tucked in my pocket that, you know, can get me through the day. And it doesn't look obnoxious in the grand scheme of things. If you've seen me in real life, I've got like two multi-tool pouches on my belt. I've got my back pocket with a few things sticking out of it. You know, got this, got that. But this is just the basic chums wallet. And it's a for like a beach and stuff. You know, it's it's a water sports wallet. And it keeps your driver's license, some handy cash on hand you can uh tie that or chain that to your swim trunks so you don't lose it it's intended to be on boats and in the water and on the beach but you know it's been fantastic for everyday carry i've used this i've loved it and you know this one's getting old a little janky it's probably time for me to buy another one but i just personally love the Chums Wallet and all that it can do. I call it the Mighty Chums Wallet for a reason. It holds a lot. It performs a lot. It's a little thin. It's a little cheap. I'll agree to that. It's not the highest quality in the world compared to, say, an alpaca pouch or a Maxpedition pouch or something like that. But, boy, howdy, does this sucker perform on a budget end. And they come in different colors. This isn't the only one. They come in different colors, and it holds a surprising amount. Ignoring this, I brought this over just so that it can hold it, but not great. It holds any sort of combination of this stuff that most people have as, like, secondary equipment, and it goes down in their pockets nicely. You can even have, like, a, a short pencil. You can pack both bit sleeves in there. It just does a bunch of work for $10, roughly $10 as of the time of this, of this video. And if you've got small stuff like this, it doesn't have to be this, ex this exact gear, but if you have stuff this size and you need something to keep it from just jingling around in your pocket and speedy access is not a necessity, because it does take a little bit to pull this out and pull whatever you need out of it. If speedy access is not your requirement, I, I highly recommend getting one. I've had this for over a year now, going on two years. 
I haven't worn it much in the last few months because I've had other gear that I like better personally. But before I had that gear, this thing was a top notch. I mean, I carried this. as. But now that I've started finding what I like, you know, naturally I'm going to gravitate to what carries that stuff better. I carry bigger tools. You know, a full-size multi-tool, not really going to fit. You know, I was kind of surprised at one point when the Swiss Army knives fit. Would you try to slap a medium-sized Leatherman in? It's not going to fit in there. It can slip into this part fairly decently. Throw in the, the flashlight there and throw in a bit sleeve. And throw in the ratchet driver. Boom. You do have a full-size multi-tool bit kit in your pocket it goes down your front pocket or back pocket cargo pocket whatever tickles your fancy and it it works this sucker works i recommend it um so yeah without sounding like a broken record and just playing over and 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 over um if you see one of these, even if you're not sure that you really need it, buy it and have it. Because if you do buy something that, you know, you need to carry, this will be the little pouch to carry it in. And so, for those of you watching and don't know a lot of EDC gear, for those of you that don't know this stuff, we'll give a quick rundown of all this and we'll wrap up the video. Starting off, of course, the basic Chums wallet. These can be found at Walmart's. And Academy Sporting Goods, you can buy them off of Amazon, eBay almost certainly, um, probably various other stores. My Lowe's in my town does not carry these, but maybe your Lowe's does. Home Depot probably carries some. REI probably carries some. You know, take a look around. Just look for the Chums logo. They do have some that are like foam padded that float if they have just cards and money in it. So if you drop it in the water, they float. This is just the basic nylon swim trunk material is the best way to put it. It feels like a pair of swim trunks. Um, this is just the basic $10 one. Probably the cheapest model they have. That's what this is. We have just standard quarter inch bits that you can buy anywhere. We have the Leatherman bit kit here with the full assortment of bits, including the little micro eyeglass screwdriver bit. We have two Leatherman juices. We have the Juice CS4, and we have the Juice XE6 with a spare Victorinox eyeglass screwdriver that fits wonderfully inside the holder. We have a Leatherman Style CS with an eBay mod for allowing quarter inch bit driving. The Leatherman flat drivers. Well worth $13 that I paid for it. We have a Victorinox Deluxe Tinker, a four layer multi-tool. Had this for a long time, love it to death. We have the Sog Power Pint, I, in my opinion, Probably the best small multi-tool. It even outplays the juice on a lot of things, in my opinion. Especially having the quarter-inch bit driving ability in the head. We have the Boker Atlas Multi, which is two tools here. We have the main knife blade, fantastic blade. And we have a big pair of scissors. Wonderful setup there. We have the Leatherman Free P2, wonderful multi-tool from Leatherman, with the Shapeways 3D printed bit driver mod, which is absolutely rock solid. This sucker holds up quite well. I've put it under some big stress. Holds up wonderfully. We have two Knipix tools here. Both are five inches long. One is the Cobra pliers. The other is the pliers wrench. Two wonderful tools. Absolutely glad I have those. 
Leatherman Ratcheting Bit Extender. A normal quarter inch bit extender you can find pretty much anywhere in any hardware store. We have Wazoo Gearco um, Ferro Rod. Highly recommend going and getting some of those from Dustin. Those are fantastic. A solid off ferro rod from a Coleman's ferro rod lighter. I cut it in half so I can have two of these. A random brand name. I've never heard of this. This Via brand. Never heard of it. It's a little nail trimmer. One of the best nail trimmers I've had ever. And tweezers. It's a little three pack here. It comes with scissors, tweezers, and nail trimmers. These are minute key key rings from Lowe's. You can buy these. I have one on my belt all the time to hold my keys. This is a Victorinox SD Light Right. Not sure exactly the exact model of this. I've had this for so long. It has a little pin. Has a red light. Has knife blade, file, screwdriver, and scissors. Probably my first ever Victorinox to the best of my memory. And this is just my lucky Victorinox. I keep this sucker on a shelf. Um, flashlights. We have Maglight Solitaire. Like the card game Solitaire. Um, Playing solitaire till dawn. Da, ba, ba, da, ba, da, bum. Uh, like a 60 lumen flashlight. Twist on, twist off. Reliable. Olight i3T EOS. This one is in titanium. Love it. And then this one's in aluminum. I5R EOS. Brighter than the i3T. This is a 350 lumen. This is a 180 lumen. Max, this goes down to 150. This one goes down to 50. So they both of these are like two mode flashlights. Wonderful flashlights. So that is all the gear I've shown in this video. If you have other gear that's similarly sized, like an old case knife that's a three-bladed stockman or something, almost sure to fit down inside of those. Another small multi-tool, go for it. Leatherman has several more keychain multi-tools. Um, as of the time of this video, I think I just continued, just discontinued the squirt, which is not good. But if you can get your hands on a squirt, you know, that goes down in there quite nicely. So, also, forgot to show, I had it off to the side here, and I never used it in this whole video. But also, Benchmade Mini Bug Out goes on or in. Quite wonderfully. Benchmade Mini Bug Out. Great addition. In case you were wondering if that fits, it fits. So, with that being said, I think the video is pretty much done. This is a long video here. I do hope you found this useful. I hope you found it enjoyable. And I hope you, if you never saw any of this gear before, I hope you go and buy some and ruin your pocketbook. <laughs> Do not blame me for how empty your pocketbook will be after you see this gear. I should put that at the start of the video, but I won't. Um, I'm just evil like that. So, I hope you like this. Hope you found it informational. Hope it helps you build your EDC to your standards. And until the next video, farewell, carry well, and bye-bye.